Chapter Two of Iracema. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Iracema, the Honey Lips, the Legend of Brazil, by José de Alencar, translated by Isabel Burton. Chapter Two. Far, very far from that serra which purples the horizon, was born Iracema. Iracema, the virgin with the honey lips, whose hair hanging below her palm-like waist, was jetty as the grauna bird's wing. The calm of the jachi bee was less sweet than her smile, and her breath excelled the perfume exhaled by the vanilla of the woods. Fleeter than the wild row, the dark virgin wandered freely through the plains and forests of Ipu, where her warlike tribe, a part of the great Tabajara nation, lay wigwamed. Her subtle, naked foot scarcely pressed to earth the thin green garment with which the early rains clothed the ground. One day, when the sun was in midday height, she was reposing in a forest clearing. The shade of the Oichisika, more refreshing than the dew of night, bathed her form. The arms of the wild acacia dropped their blossoms upon her wet hair. The birds hidden in the foliage sang for her their sweetest songs. Iracema left the bath. Pearl drops of water stood upon her, like the sweet mangaba which blushes in the refreshing dawn-dew. Whilst reposing, she refits her arrows with the plumes of the gara, whilst she joins in the joyous song of the forest sabia perched in the nearest bough. A beautiful Ara, her companion and friend, plays near her. Now the bird climbs the branches and calls the virgin by her name. Then he slips down and shakes the little satchel of colored straw in which the wild maid carries her perfumes, her white threads of the krauta, her needles of the jussara thorn, with which she works the grass cloth, and her dyes that serve to tinge the cotton. A suspicious noise breaks the soft harmony of the siesta. Iracema raises the eyes which no sun can dazzle, and her sight is troubled. Standing before her, absorbed in gazing upon her, is a strange warrior, if indeed it is a warrior, and not some evil spirit of the forest. His face is white as the sands that border the sea. His eyes are sadly blue as the deep. He bears unknown weapons, and is clad in unknown cloths. Rapid as her eye glance was the action of Iracema. An arrow shot from the bow, and red drops ran down the face of the unknown. At the first impulse, his nimble hand sought his sword cross, but presently he smiled. The young warrior had been brought up in the religion of his mother, wherein woman is a symbol of tenderness and love. He suffered more in his soul than from his wound. What expression was in his eye and whole face? Who knows? But it made the virgin cast away her bow and wirasaba, and run to the warrior, pained at the pain she had caused. The hand, so swift to strike, more rapidly and gently staunched the dripping stream. Then, Iracema break the murderous arrow. She offered the shaft to the unknown, and she kept the barbed point. The warrior spoke. Dost thou break with me the arrow of peace? Who taught the white warrior the tongue of Iracema's brethren? How came he to these forests, which never saw other warrior like to him? Daughter of the forests, I come from afar. I come from the land which thy brothers once possessed, and wherein mine now dwell. Welcome be the stranger to the prairie of the Tabajaras, lords of the villages, and to the wigwam of Araken, father of Iracema. End of chapter 2